What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands. So, um, I would say we are continuing where we left off in the last one. We kind of are, but uh, what happened is, is um, well, the game decided that, that, well, the game didn't. My console sometimes decides to disconnect from Xbox Live and then it just logs me out of my profile. Um, it doesn't, my, nothing happens with my internet or anything. Ooh, explosion. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting distracted. Anyway, let's grab uh, grab a car. It's uh, getting towards night time. But anyway, let's um, let me explain what we're going to do in this episode. So what we are going to do, first things first, is uh, we've taken out this woman. Uh, we're going to take down uh, probably the rest of uh, smuggling. Um, and then we'll probably take down, in the next episode, we'll probably take down um, influence. And then we'll come back down here again, and then we'll take down production. And then once all of that's done, we've just got this guy. This one last guy. The leader of the Santa Blanca cartel. We'll take him out. But anyway, what we are going to do is we're going to take out this guy. This guy we got a long time ago, I think. Um, I just chose to do it in this way, just to let you guys know. I think I at one point I said we we're going to start down here and then come up here, but... Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. We're doing it this way. So um, let's press Y for the mission, and it's all the way up here in the top um, left-hand corner of the map. So we've got quite a ways to go. Actually, no, we don't. Uh, but anyway, we need a helicopter. So let's find the nearest helicopter location we know of. Uh, I actually don't know. Um, will this place maybe have a helicopter? I'm not sure. It'd be nice to know where there's a helicopter, to be honest. Alright, let's just get in the car and let's just uh, drive down the road here a little bit. Um, they might end up spawning. They do take a little while to spawn in on the map, but uh, let's turn on the MVGs for the first time this week. Uh, right, okay, let's have another look at the map. There's an aeroplane down here. Um, right, can we make it maybe over here somewhere? Hmm. Right, okay, now I'm just trying to pull up a hill. Uh, right, let's just find a helicopter or an aeroplane or, or something. We need some sort of air transport to get there, or we'll be driving for this entire episode. Which I don't think you guys want to watch, and uh, to be honest with you, I don't want to drive. Um, that airplane seems to be going down the map. Now, I know there are helicopters around here, so let's head there. Uh, right, yeah, quick question, can we actually go this way and get around? Right, you know what? Screw it. Let's go this way. Right, I can't see a thing. I think we just got stuck. Fucking hell! Eh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> Alright, let's just find a road. I think there are, is a road down here somewhere. Yeah, more or less directly ahead of us. You gotta remember, this shit ain't about Ramon Feliz or computer hardware. This is about all those kids the cartel's been trafficking. That the cartel is trafficking. For all we know, there are kids in the pipeline right now. There've got to be more than a few parents missing their kids. Why ain't none of them talking? There must be. Your kid goes missing, you talk ah, to the helicopter. cops or somebody. The press. Those parents right are talking of us. because they know. They know it's the cartel. And they know this corrupt government won't help them. All they have is us. That last shred of hope the that right those parents have well. that they'll see their kids again? We are what they've been hoping for. The drone is up. Found us a Sicario leader. Let's fuck with a sense of well-being, using the spreads of fear. I got a third target. All right, I'm not really worried about getting this guy. I just really want the helicopter, and I just really want to get the hell out of here. Target spotted. I got another. That's five. As soon as we get the helicopter and everything, we will. Uh, we'll. Uh, ah, there's a guy right here. Right. Um. Can we actually mark up the guy now? Roger that. Let me get into position. Copy that. Just Move go with them, Corey. I'm gonna Target take out target. this guy. 
I'm not really bothered about his uh, Ready to fire. things or anything. Okay, there's only two guys left. And the weapons chest. Switch guns. How's it going? We rattled somebody's cage. Check it out. Weapons case. How's it going? <laughs> okay, we're good. So anyway, what we were going to do last episode is we were going to grab those supplies, but, um, well, the game kind of fucked us over. Um, well, my console did it. For some strange reason, it does that. Uh, only on this game. It doesn't do it on any other game but this game. Like, it's never done it on, in any of the series we've done on this channel. It's just this game, for whatever reason. But, um... I'll pilot. It doesn't happen all the time, but uh, happens enough for me to really fix it. But oh well. Right, okay. Uh, now we're heading over to our objective, which uh, is this one over here. So um, let's uh, let's just double check to make sure we're on the right mission, and uh, we'll go finish off what we need to finish off. We've got Select intel it. on a convoy of trucks loaded with cash heading to cartel bosses in Mexico. El Boquita is believed to be leading the convoy. Intercept the trucks and destroy them, and if possible, take out Boquita as well. Okay, so there we go. That's what we're going to do. Good to go. Let's go get them. So we've got a nice little flight ahead of us. Uh, we've got about 9.3 kilometers, which is, I don't know what, in miles... <laughs> But uh, we'll head there now and uh, we'll go take out the convoy. And then we might even go and take out the last bit of the smuggler ring here. Is it smuggling? This one I can't really remember. I think it is. Whoa. Holy shit. That's a storm and a half. Wow, I've seen the amount of guys down there. Holy crap. Some of the areas we've been to and taken out crap tons of guys. I remember when we first started this series. Months ago now. Wow. I kind of just want to take off the MVGs just to see that. Without the MVGs on. Wow. Wow. Just to let you guys know, I love Thunder and Lightning, just to let you know, um, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> um, and we also had it, uh, oh shit, we're getting locked on to twice. Uh, oh, three times, oh shit. Holy shit. And again. Oh. Whew. Okay, there we go. Bit of expert flying. Oh, I think we just got lucky though. Now, one thing to do is uh, just to uh, do zigzags in the air. Um, it's obviously like uh, the best way to pretty much get away from anything, really. If you zigzag, then uh, it's harder for, well, one, for people to shoot you, and uh, two, well, it's not harder for them to shoot you, but it's harder them, it's harder for them to hit you. Um, but yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go again. Shoot at me, bro. Sorry, it looks like we're landing here anyway. Oh, 
We're going down. We're going down. We're here anyway. Looks like this helicopter's here, so we can always grab a new one. Obviously, they don't last very long. I think we're a little bit too high there, though. Oh well, we're down. We're good. We're alive. Main thing. Alright, first things first. Drawn. Okay, we need to get really a lot more closer than we are now. Now I don't. I think I remember where we are, and we were here recently, not too long ago. I think we are going to go to some areas we haven't been to in a long time. But uh, let's power by Nox. Talk with informant. Okay, so he's an informant. As that there's a helicopter here too. So. Now we need to find a way up here and around there probably and up, yeah. It's raining as well. This game still looks awesome, I think. We'll take that helicopter probably. There's the informant. Let's hear what he's got to say. Hey, Mr. Informant, what you got to say to me? Bowman says you've got something for me. It's gonna cost double this time. Take it up with her. Tell me what you got, and I'll put in a good word for you. Okay, it's like this. El Boquita's jammed up, and he's gotta get a shitload of money up to the bosses in Mexico. So he's running a big convoy up there tonight. How big? A couple of armored trucks for the cash, maybe half a dozen armored cars, maybe even a couple of helicopters. Serious shit. Where's the convoy? I don't know. El Boquita's being cautious as fuck. Only he and the drivers know the route. That's not good enough. I need a location. How about this? I know where you can find El Boquita. He's here in Kiwani to make sure the convoy gets through. You follow him, he'll take you straight to the money. Okay. All we'll right, do that. We'll take this Boquita. helicopter here as well. Not a gunshot till we have the money in sight. Now, one thing we're going to have to do is when we take off here is we're going to have to fly low. Hey, imagine doing all this game in one play session. Holy crap. I bet there's people who have actually done it as well. Hey man, try to take us off some sweet jumps, alright? I'm probably gonna get locked on to. But uh, we should be low enough to avoid anything they throw at us. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, we're not quite low enough. Yeah, we are low enough. Now I'm not. Should be now. There we go. Okay, it looks Coming like we're here. Elbow Keith is expecting trouble, so let's take this low and slow. Yeah, let's just land here. We'll take out the guy in the uh, the two guys here in the watchtower. And we are just parked right outside, more or less. We got a mounted weapon. Anybody up here? I got no. a nice see a second target. One guy. Okay, moving. Let me find a good position. Two guys. That's it. Really? Got is that it? Roger that target. Stay right, low. Take him. Target is down. Um. Now what I am doing quickly is I am just checking to see if we are far enough away, but not too close. By the looks of it, we are. We're perfect. To be honest with you. He's taken a bunch of vehicles to Mexico. Like, wouldn't it not just be easier to take planes? I got one narco at the entrance to the camp. Up here is probably the old best bet because we get a nice overview. What we'll do is we'll run our uh, we'll run our drone. Marking a captain, and baby makes three. Spotted one with submachine guns. All right, Bowman, we've got eyes on El Boquita. There he we'll is. Tail him to the money. 
Roger that. We've got a tap on his cell phone. If he makes a call, says anything about the money or the convoy's route, you'll be able to listen in. Let's go back and grab our heli. Let's get in the air. Just now we have to keep up with them. Target's too far. Shit. Come on, 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 come on. I'm almost there. Listo. As long as they get their money, the investors will be happy. They won't care how the cash gets to them. That doesn't mean this isn't crazy. There must be a better way. No. There is no other way. We don't have time for any other way. You know you're the only man who can pull this off. I know you're just buttering me up, but I like it. Igual, te amo. Let me speak on me, niña. Papi, are you coming home? Pronto, chaparita. I have to take a trip. You be good girl and listen to your mama. Can I have a puppy? I, I want a small, brown, cute one, or maybe yellow. Nena, you can have anything you want when I get home. Papa loves you very much. Okay, bye. Right, I think this is it here. like it. Bowman, we found the convoy. I count at least three heavy vehicles, one helo. We need to keep those money trucks from reaching Mexico. Just as important, we need to take out El Boquita. Killing him will destroy Sueño and Nidia's relationship. Roger that. Alright, first things first, we'll go kill him, and then we'll go after the trucks. Gonna that just run and go getting kill. away. Come on, my friend. HBT is down. Say again, El Boquita is dead. Is this a better helicopter around the back? Now, we'll go back to ours. Should hopefully keep them down for a little bit while we take off. Right, let's just go. Right, after the convoy. So destroy the money convoy trucks. Okie dokie, here we go. Take out the heli first, shall we? This road vehicle destroyed. Got that there we go. Trying to get the nose down. Yeah, okay, this isn't going to plan, but. Like everything, nothing goes to plan in these episodes. There we go, we got him. Taking out the money truck and elbow Kita is KIA. Outstanding. The beauty queen is royally fucked. We'll see if she makes a run for it or tries to beg swing us forgiveness. Either way, she's gonna expose herself. And when she does, we go get her. Alright, so there we go. What we are gonna do is uh, we're gonna watch this video here quickly. I'm gonna bring the helicopter to a complete stop. Nomad, I've just got word. Thanks to us, the Beauty Queen smuggling operation is such a clusterfuck that she's a dead girl walking. Sueño sent a hit team to kill Nydia and her daughter Valeria. 
got a location on the beauty queen? She's holed up at her hacienda with her daughter. We got this chick right where we want her. Get her and Valeria out of danger. She'll give us everything she knows. We're on our way. No matter how. Right, and what I am going to do as well is I am actually going to find one of these three helicopters here on the map. And we are going to um, grab one. But, uh, right, now we need to go into this. Uh, we need to zoom out. And uh, so that, anyway, there's that guy down. So next uh, next one up is the Beauty Queen. Uh, I think we've got a new intel in here. We've got quite a few, actually. We'll watch this one and the other one as well. Um, I just need to make a mental note of which one uh, is which. So um, I know which ones to be clicking on. Uh, so anyway, we'll watch these videos now. See what we got. Here's a lesson in cocaineonomics. The biggest mistake most people make is focusing solely on the product. Claro, you need something to sell, but that's not where you make the money. One kilo of coca leaves costs about a dollar fifty. It takes four hundred kilos of coca leaves to make one kilo of cocaine. Even when turned into cocaine base, a kilo is only worth twelve hundred in Bolivia. However, every time you cross a border, the value increases. Once we reach Colombia, it's already twenty-two hundred. We hit southern Mexico, twelve thousand. Cross the border into Texas, twenty thousand. New York City, our twelve hundred dollar investment is now worth thirty-five thousand. Paris, London, sixty-eight to seventy-four thousand. It's a pipeline that carries the product to the people that need it. Sustenance for the thirsty. Once in place, the pipeline feeds itself. Workers, vehicles, wages, bribes. But when there's a clog in the pipe... Uh, they took out another shipment. We lost seven tons last week. Four planes the week before. The water backs up. There's too much surplus. We can't keep it secure. My men are selling to each other. We can't pay people if they're not moving product. They're kidnapping civilians for ransom money. Too much water. We have to take Valeria in gold. He'll kill us before we leave the country. Then what's the answer? When I find it, I'll let you know. And you drown. All right, I'm pretty sure we've seen that one before, but um, we'll watch this one and we've got one more to watch and then that's it. And we'll go get our something. Nidia finally had the answer to her problems. A convoy. The investors in Mexico wanted their money. This whole time she had been trying to sneak it out to them. Why sneak when we can force it through? Reinforced armor, heavily armed, multiple trucks, helicopter patrols, carrying 17 billion dollars. Mira, you can't be serious. If we lose that money, it's over. But when we're killed, what happens to Valeria? There is no other way. No, Reina, we're not doing it. Ay, boquita, corazón. I'm not asking. I'm telling. And who do you expect to lead this convoy? You're the only man I trust with something this important. But what if I don't make it back? I would never let that happen. Well, I'm pretty sure it happens. Okay, last one. Let's go. The beauty queen failed. In total, she lost more than 17 billion dollars. Lydia knew she was in danger. She needed more time. She needed someone to blame. She needed to make a sacrifice. I'm so sorry, babe. For you, Mirei. But it wasn't enough. You fucked up, Mirena. I gave her a head start. Because I loved La Reina de Belleza. But in Bolivia, love doesn't get you very far. Alright, I think that's it for videos, yep. So, uh, let's quickly land our helicopter around here somewhere and let's grab ourselves a new heli because uh, this one is about screwed. I think this is, yeah, uh, I think this is where we just came from. Uh, and I did realize another helicopter here, there's another one over there. I think it's surrounded by Unidad. Um, grab this one here first I think actually no we'll go over here and we'll grab this one because it's, it's gonna be more in the open gonna be, oh no it's friendlies so anyway here we go we got ourselves a new heli straight off the bat we're done so anyway guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this one here I hope you guys have enjoyed if you did hit that like button if you didn't hit the dislike button it's right next door and uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button already hit subscribe because it helps grow the channel uh, helps helps me grow and everything and uh yeah anyway guys i'm gonna end this one here next episode we are gonna go and hit up our good old friend is it lydia 
or the beauty queen or whatever you want to call her we're going to hit up her we're going to go say hey and take her out and then we pretty much got smuggling down smuggling's locked and uh then i think it'll be next week by then uh we will come down here we'll take out these two guys and then we'll take out these two and then that's it and then we take out this guy so yeah that's what we're going to do in the next one guys but anyway thank you so much for watching i hope everybody has enjoyed and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow where we'll go take out the beauty queen. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Mark?